Good morning, Titans. Today is April 8th, and you're here with your hosts, Theron. And Amanda. <laughs> and please rise to your national anthem. Oh. Titans and happy Monday. I hope you had a good weekend. Titans, we are still in the season of Lent, the season that we are striving hopefully to, to identify things in our life that bring us away from God and remove them, as well as to fill things in our life that bring us closer to God. And we are just uh, under two weeks away from Easter season, so we have two weeks left of Lent to continue this process. And in a way, we have a great opportunity this week on Thursday. We have both of our local priests, Father Al and Father Lucio, coming into our school for confessions. School confessions will happen during second period, over lunchtime, and the beginning of third, people, uh, third period. And people will be called down by grades, and you'll hear it on the announcements. And why we're doing it over lunchtime is to give people an opportunity so they don't have to leave or miss class time to appreciate confession. So I just want to put that as an announcement, as a reflection, that during this Lenten season, it's a great time, uh, an opportunity to go, grow a little closer with God in our personal relationship through confession. If you can join me in prayer this morning, in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Heavenly Father, we are sorry for the times that we have actively chosen to not be in relationship with you. We ask for your forgiveness, and we ask for your grace and your strength to move us back into a relationship with you, to fill our lives with things that are good, true, and beautiful. We offer all this up in your Son's most holy name. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Attention graduates, grad valedictorian voting will take place in homeroom today, immediately following announcements. If you are a graduate and do not have a homeroom, you can get your ballot from Megan in the attendance office. Just a reminder that today is the last day to sign up for the blood clinic tomorrow to find out your blood type. If you have any questions, please see Ms. Bow in room 246. As the school's Lenten campaign continues, we collect toothpaste and toothbrushes this week. You can bring in these items to your homeroom and to our social justice will come after morning announcements this Thursday. Thank you for your generous support. Interested in joining the 2019 FAIR cheer team? Tryouts will be May 9th, 10th, and 13th. Get your information sheet and permission form outside of room 262. Grickle grass and Swami Swans await. The Lorax re will rehearse today on the stage during lunch. The French Club will be meeting in the Foods Room on Thursday, April the 17th to cook and eat French cuisine. New members are always welcome. You must RSVP to Monsieur Flanagan in room 146 by lunch on Tuesday the 9th if you wish to attend, so that he knows numbers. Attention students looking for community service hours. The Victoria Lions Club is looking for student volunteers to help with their wing ding from 6 p.m. until approximately 10 p.m at the Vittoria Community Center on April 13th. Please see Ms. DeConnick O'Neill in TLC if you are interested in volunteering. Applications for Guatemala 2020 are now available from the main office. Travel to Central America, experience a new culture, learn about the rich traditions of the Mayan people, support a rural community and their school while making new friends. Pick up an application today. Attention all past, present and future hospitality students. Do you love Italian food? Can you imagine yourself in a cooking class in Rome, Italy? 
If so, do we have a trip of a lifetime for you? We will be holding another information meeting on Thursday, April 11th at 6.30 p.m. in Chef's Room for our cuisine and culture trip to Southern Italy in March 2020. Please see Chef for more information. This trip is pending board approval. A quick message from the cafeteria. Come into the CAF and enjoy our delicious supervisor special. Thank you and we appreciate your business. That's all from us. Now over to Mr. C. Oh, it's not Mr. C, but... Hi Titans, we're here from the Healthcare Club and we're here to remind you to sign up in the office for the blood typing that's going on tomorrow during periods three and four. Um, so if we get 100 plus seniors, um, 17 years and plus, by the end of the day, then we will do a draw for prom tickets. So make sure you guys sign up. And just an FYI, uh, tomorrow is not actually donating blood. It's just uh, figuring out your blood type so that you can donate in the future. And for those of you who are interested, there will be a blood donation clinic uh, happening April 23rd. Thanks, Titans. This is a story about connections between donors, recipients, and all the people that bring them together. From blood and plasma, to stem cells, to organs and tissues. Something we can do today and know that because of us, someone else is waking up healthy tomorrow. Because we can all be the reason, the connection, that keeps the story going. Canadian Blood Services. Together, we are Canada's lifeline. Good morning, Titans. My name is Philip Carlisle. And I'm P.T. Barnum. And we're here to advertise the musical theater showcase that'll be happening here at HT on Wednesday. Doors open at 6.30 and the show starts at 7. See you there. There's no admission price, but if you would like to purchase a Titan Treasure calendar to support the drama department, that and any other doma donations will be appreciated. Morning Titans, hope everyone had an awesome weekend. Uh, just remember, grade 12 homeroom teachers, valedictorian voting is happening this morning in homeroom uh, teachers. You put in your mailbox on Friday. Please do the voting early in period one, seal the envelope and then send it down to uh, the main office. Uh, some exciting news for our grade 9 students. Uh, this summer, HT is offering a food and nutrition course, HFN 101. So if you're looking to get an extra credit under your belt, uh, it's being offered during the month of July here at Holy Trinity. For more information, please see a guidance counselor or Mrs. Nep Weirag in the office. Uh, as you heard on announcements this week, we're collecting uh, br toothbrushes and toothpaste. Uh, everything goes into our, the St. Everything, ah, sorry, everything's going to the St. Vincent de Paul Society to support our Lenten campaign. So if you could bring in those toothbrushes and toothpaste, that would be awesome. Uh, last week I mentioned that our, uh, new, we're getting some new uniform pieces. Uh, the maroon golf shirts are in. So starting tomorrow, you can purchase a uh, maroon golf shirt in our uniform store. Uh, so that is awesome news. Just want to end with a couple of shout-outs. First, like to... Uh, give a shout out to all the students who competed at the skills uh, qualifying competition held at uh, Niagara College this past Saturday. I want to give a huge congratulations to Ryan Satorik, uh, who placed third in welding. Uh, Ryan moves on to the Ontario skills competition held on Tuesday, May the 7th. Awesome work, Ryan, and that's awesome work from all our competitors. I want to wish all our competitors best of luck at the provincials in May. And finally, just want to give a huge shout out to four of our Holy Trinity Titans, uh, Landon McCallum, Maddox Callens, Steve LaForme, and Jonah Cochran. Uh, all four were selected in this weekend's OHL draft. Uh, Landon was selected by the Sudbury Wolves, Steve by the North Bay Centennials, and Maddox and Jonah were selected by the Kingston Frontenacs. Uh, it's an awesome accomplishment. Way to go, Titans. Uh, HT is extremely proud of you, and best of luck in your future hockey endeavors. That's it from us, Titans. Have a great day.